The Nikon Z73 is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated releases in Nikon's FX format mirrorless lineup, promising a compelling blend of high-resolution imaging, advanced hybrid capabilities, and refined usability for professional photographers and hybrid creators alike. At the heart of all speculations surrounding the Z73 is its sensor, which could be a defining feature of the camera. Nikon has long been recognized for delivering exceptional image quality, and the Z73 or Z73 73i, as rumors often label it, appears poised to elevate this reputation even further. The most consistent leaks indicate that Nikon is developing a new high-resolution sensor, potentially in the 61 to 67 megapixel range, with some more ambitious speculation suggesting a 90 megapixel variant. While the latter remains uncertain and likely overblown, it underscores the level of excitement the camera is generating within the photography community. It is widely expected that the Z Z73 will utilize a full-frame backside illuminated BSICMOS sensor. Such a design is celebrated for its ability to capture more light, enhancing low-light performance and maintaining excellent dynamic range even at higher ISO settings, ensuring photographers can achieve crisp, vibrant images under almost any conditions. Resolution is central to the Z73's appeal, especially for its target audience of high-end enthusiasts, landscape photographers, and studio professionals. In practical terms, a sensor in the 61 to 67 megapixel range offers more than just a marketing number. It provides tangible benefits for image making. Photographers gain extraordinary cropping flexibility, the ability to create large gallery quality prints, and confidence that even the finest details in a scene will be recorded with remarkable fidelity. Landscape photographers, for example, can capture intricate textures such as leaves, rocks, and cityscapes in distant vistas without worrying about a loss of detail when zooming or printing at scale. Studio and product photographers would similarly benefit, as the extra resolution ensures the finest aspects of a subject, whether in fashion, jewelry, or commercial work, are captured with precision. Adding features like pixel shift multi-shot technology could further enhance the Z73's appeal, allowing multiple images to be combined for higher resolution and cleaner color fidelity. Should Nikon implement such a capability, the Z73 would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-resolution offerings from competitors like Sony's A7R series, cementing its status as a resolution powerhouse. While the Z7 series has historically leaned towards stills photography, Nikon appears to be doubling down on hybrid capabilities with the Z7 III. Early reports suggest that the camera could offer 8K video recording at up to 30 frames per second, along with 4K at 60 frames per second in 10-bit internal Pro Res RAW. These specifications would place the Z7 III in a class typically reserved for video-focused cameras, providing a versatile tool for hybrid shooters who demand high-quality stills and cinematic video in one package. Rumors even hint at ultra-slow motion 4K recording at 120 frames per second, alongside enhanced in-body image stabilization rated at up to 8 stops. This combination would make the Z7 III not only a professional stills camera, but also a compelling choice for content creators, documentary filmmakers, and hybrid shooters looking for flexibility without carrying multiple bodies. Naturally, integrating high-resolution sensors with intensive video capabilities introduces challenges in heat management, particularly during extended 8K recording sessions. Nikon may need to innovate cooling solutions to maintain reliability, but for many users, the inclusion of high-quality internal recording alone would be a major drop, even if peak frame rates are not fully exploited. Autofocus has always been a critical component in Nikon's mirrorless cameras, and the Z7 III is rumored to receive substantial upgrades. While the Z7 II offered a solid 493-point AF system, it lagged behind newer competitors in certain scenarios. The Z7 III is expected to retain this 493-point architecture while incorporating AI-powered subject detection. Nikon has already demonstrated the effectiveness of AI-assisted autofocus in the Z8 and Z9, capable of accurately tracking people, animals, and vehicles. These improvements are likely to trickle down to the Z7 III. 
ensuring more precise and reliable focus performance. For the camera's primary audience, landscape and studio photographers, speed is secondary to consistency and accuracy. While the rumored 20 frames per second burst rate sounds impressive, the more critical concern is that autofocus locks quickly, maintains accuracy, and performs reliably in challenging lighting conditions. Accurate focus, especially in high-resolution shooting, is paramount, as even the slightest miss can compromise images when pixel-level detail is crucial. One of the more eagerly anticipated improvements is the rumored 3.2-inch, 4-axis tilting touchscreen. This design would significantly enhance usability for photographers who frequently shoot at unconventional angles, such as low-to-the-ground landscapes or overhead shots in crowded settings. Unlike a fully articulating screen, which some photographers find awkward during stills work, a tilting screen offers stability and speed while framing images. Alongside the display, there is ongoing debate about the choice of memory card format. Some leaks suggest Nikon may opt for dual UHS 2 SD slots instead of faster CF Express cards. While CF Express offers exceptional speeds, essential for extreme burst shooting or high resolution video workflows, UHS 2 SD cards remain affordable, widely available, and sufficient for most stills work. This decision could reflect Nikon's goal of providing high-end enthusiasts with redundancy and workflow convenience without inflating the camera's price, ultimately making the Z7 III more accessible than the flagship Z8 while maintaining professional-grade capabilities. Connectivity is another area where the Z7 III is rumored to receive meaningful updates. Photographers today increasingly demand seamless integration with mobile devices and cloud-based workflows. The Z7 III is expected to include 5G HC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, enabling faster wireless transfers, smoother remote operation, and improved responsiveness in app-based control. These features, while subtle, have become essential in a world where photographers need to work efficiently on location or in collaborative environments. Equally important is Nikon's ongoing attention to ergonomics and portability. The Z7 III is expected to maintain the relatively compact and lightweight design of its predecessors, a significant advantage for photographers who travel, hike, or shoot in remote locations. Larger flagship models like the Z8 and Z9, despite their technical prowess, can be unwieldy during extended shoots. By keeping the Z7 III manageable in size while delivering professional-level performance, Nikon could hit a sweet spot for photographers seeking a high-resolution camera that remains practical in the field. When examining the Z7 III, it becomes clear that Nikon is aiming to fill a gap in its lineup. While the Z7 II was a capable camera, its lack of features such as pixel shift, older electronic viewfinder and LCD specifications, and limited battery life make it feel outdated compared to current standards. Meanwhile, the Z8 and Z9, while powerful, are overbuilt for many photographers who do not require sports-level performance or the added bulk. The Z7 III appears positioned to offer a balanced alternative, high-resolution imaging, meaningful autofocus enhancements, practical video capabilities, and a user-friendly package that remains portable and reasonably priced. Achieving this balance could make the Z7 III one of the most important additions to Nikon's mirrorless lineup in recent years. In conclusion, the Nikon Z7 III promises to be a major step forward for the Z7 series. By combining high-resolution imaging, hybrid video capabilities, refined autofocus, and modern connectivity in a relatively compact package, it appears to be addressing many of the gaps left by its predecessors. Whether Nikon can successfully balance resolution, performance, and portability will determine how the camera is received. But if even most of the rumored specifications are realized, the Z7 III could become a cornerstone of Nikon's FX format mirrorless ecosystem. For photographers and hybrid creators seeking a camera that delivers exceptional stills and competent video without the bulk of a flagship, the Z7 III may represent the perfect solution, a versatile, high-performance tool built for today's demanding workflows and tomorrow's creative possibilities.